Okay, so we're back again at the puzzle box office. And today, Josh is finishing up the puzzle boxes in the final assembly. Everett is still assembling boxes. He's got uh, four or five lined up for Josh. So that's good. We got a couple finished today. And things are going really good. So the cool thing uh, this morning, we switched around this uh, this bench area a little bit and it works much better it looks like it's working a lot better to me because we put the sander in the middle because uh they, josh said they were both using the sander a lot so now they can both use the sander and we moved the table saw away from here because we use it occasionally so we put it in front of this drawer so that uh people aren't standing in front of the drawer all the time and that's where all the parts are and move the milling machine into the corner because we don't use that very much and this thing is just free floating right now so uh, Everett scooted it over here because he wanted the it next to the lock line hose and those turned out good right Everett? yeah actually they did so what's it been like working for two weeks here two no, full weeks it's terrible horrible oh, no. No. <laughs> no it's been good it's been good uh I don't know. It's kind of fun trying to figure out how to fix all the problems that you come across. So uh -huh. that's interesting. Except for when it's not fun. He made uh, this cool little jig here. This is to hold the parts squarely when he goes to mortise. And that works much better because uh, he, you run into less split outs. You don't have to center the part perfectly each time. It just automatically does it. So that worked out good. And Josh, of course, is doing the assembly stuff. Is that going better each week, Josh? Yep. We're getting, the boxes are getting Almost a little tighter. Have four today. Four boxes done yeah. today. That's crazy. Well, I mean, some of them were pretty close already. But... I mean, overall, we're getting better with each box. One other problem is that the CNC still is making some weird parts on occasion because I just changing the whole program around so that uh, everything's done right in the. Uh, folders and setup and you know origin points and all that stuff so when you change one little thing you don't want it to rack everything else out of position so getting that set up so that it it's done right like it should be uh, was you know took a long time but now I'm finally building it to where I think it's gonna stay for the rest of the production boxes we got ready to ship out tomorrow just got to put some wax on top Wax it up, make it look like it's been around for a couple hundred years. And these ch puzzle chests are looking much better than they originally were. These were done a couple years ago, so those are getting finished up. Okay, so let's hear the famous joke. So there's a wife and his and her husband are deciding to go out to eat. And so they hear about this really good buffet place, so they go to it. Okay. Um, but it's not like a regular buffet place. So okay. instead of, yeah, yeah. So instead of uh, going through, you know, a line and grabbing each different food, each different food and drink has a line for each thing. So if you want okay. uh, roast beef, you know, you go okay. down the roast beef line. Uh -huh. So on and so forth. You know, you want potatoes, go if down. If you want a calzone, line. you get in the calzone yeah, line. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Right. If you know what a calzone is, anyways. Um, <laughs> very few people do. <laughs> evidently. Um. And so, you know, they're, they're getting their dinner, it's going nice, and uh, the guy's wife... His wife, His okay. wife, thank yeah. you, yeah, uh, asks him for some, uh, pu some uh, punch. Punch. So he goes through, he's looking through all the lines, finds a root beer line, you know, finds a water line, uh -huh. finds a lemonade line, um, but unfortunately, there was no punch line. <laughs> I was worried that it was going to take a lot longer, but the punchline came a lot quicker than I was expecting. Show the fact that Josh super glues his hand to the box. <laughs> it's better than this because this just breaks off. Okay, so they finished off strong. I'm coming in here after dinner and just showing you what we got done today. So Josh was able to finish off four puzzle boxes today. So that was a really good day. The nice thing is he didn't have to go from scratch. He just finished up whatever it had already put together. So you can see we have two finished up. I put the uh, orange oil finish on and then I'm just gonna come through again and wax the tops so that it gives a really kind of good aged look. And then there's two of these that don't have any finish on. So that's what it looks like with no finish. And then 
that's with some oil finish on and then we're going to go to the wax after that i'm even considering um, lacquer spray finish uh, just because i think it gives a little bit more because if something's going to be you know like a hundred a couple hundred years old you kind of see a little bit of sheen on it so i don't want it to be perfectly flat um, but also i don't want it to be like finish that is built up that is thick because you wouldn't have that on something that's old either but anyway yeah super good day getting those four done that's the most we've ever gotten done so that's going fantastic having everett put those together and josh finishing them is working really really well um i have been so busy with the cnc that i haven't had time to put together any puzzle boxes also been finishing up these and these are getting super close so that's what i was doing all day but um getting this cnc to work exactly like i want it to is a real job i broke two tools today and part of the reason was why is because i made one giant setup kind of reverse engineered everything the way i would want it to work if i started from scratch if i didn't have anything and i had to build the box over again just because when you change one aspect, because I, I make small changes all the time, but if I change one little thing, it might wreck a few other of my operations. So I just want everything to be on the same page, on the same setup. And so that's what this is. And you can see all the parts here. We have the stock all set up so that you can see exactly what the machine is going to cut. And um that led to a tool break and also something else today led to a different tool break so that didn't go so that was that wasn't so great it's it's like a real uh factory in here kind of feels like a real production setup just with all the machines running and air compressor dust collector the cnc fan and then ever over here so it's been a good good week so we're going to come back next week and we'll see if that's a really good week also. Hopefully we can get done even more puzzle boxes and finish off this year strong. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good day and I'll see you again later. Goodbye.